Hello everybody, it's Farmsome Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are back today and we're going to have a look at a mod. This is a preview of a mod that is coming soon from a friend of the channel, Trailer Park Farms, and it's a look at his 90 by 200 large sheds. Now, we have seen these before, these were in FS19, but he's taken a little bit of time to update them and tweak them so they work brilliantly for FS22, and it's going to give us a chance to let me show you some of the really clever stuff that uh, Giants have implemented in FS22 into the engine which makes the game run so much more smoothly. But without further ado, let's jump in and have a look at these sheds because they're brilliant. So there we are, a little bit of a close up here. You can see the parallax occlusion works really well on the cladding on the outside of the shed. This is in fact a flat uh, visual but because of the parallax mapping and some brilliant work that Trailer Park Farms did actually in a second round of updates to these sheds in FS19 has carried over really really well to 22. So as we walk inside here as well you can see that the uh, new texture on the floor has been implemented the rafters and the detail in there as good as it ever was. If we go over to here as well we can click the doors to open lovely animation here nice sounds as you would expect from Trailer Park, who does some brilliant, brilliant quality, uh, particularly large US sheds. So definitely uh, a guy to check out when we get our bigger maps and our four times and our 16 times maps that I'm sure are, are not far away. It will be a brilliant addition to your gameplay. And uh, there we go. It's as simple as that, really. They are great sheds. Um, Hit the R button now to turn the lights on and I'll show you those in the dark as well because what we had a lot of um, in FS19 was uh, light bleeding through uh, placeables. And not a problem with the placeables so much as an issue with the lighting model in FS19. That has been fixed as well. Um, so all the light is enclosed within the building which is brilliant. So I've popped over to the other shed now just to show you again, give you an idea of the scale of these. We've got a 9RX in here and as you can see you could probably get about six of those end to end down the length of this building. So it is a very, very big shed. You're probably only going to need one of these on your farm. Um, and if we head out here as well, this is where I'm going to give you the opportunity to see some of the clever stuff that Giants have done in 22. So we've got vehicles parked outside here. You can see the train heading off there to the um, cell point in the distance. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to go into wireframe mode just so you can see what's what here because it allows us to see through the shed. Now you can see the wireframe of the building in the background and you can see the forage harvester and the forage wagon here in front of us. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move slowly back into the shed and watch what happens here. You can see the line of the edge of the shed here. Let me just turn it off a second so you can see that we're starting to move inside the shed. Here. Now watch what happens to the buildings in the background and the trailer as well as we move further inside. So there you see the buildings have gone straight away. The trailer there is starting to unload itself. We're losing the wheels, we're losing some of the detail. It's now gone completely and we're starting to lose the detail on the forage harvester until they've both gone. And this is a really good example of how giants have managed to get performance so much better in FS22. Because when you're in a building and you're behind a wall or something is hiding what's sitting outside like the forage harvester in the trailer there it unloads it it removes it from the game so it's not having to make your computer work hard to render things that aren't in view and things like that so it just removes it out of the way and you move back outside and everything is loaded back in again back to wireframe you can see it unloading everything as we move further in such such a brilliant way of doing it that uh, avoids too much load on your PC. Great job. And again, you know, we'll do wonders for consoles as well in terms of performance. Uh, again, over here, you can't see it now. I have a red red truck parked over here as well. Come around here. There it is. It appears. Move out the way. It goes. You can see the other shed disappears as well. And then is loaded back in. So um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant technology behind this that helps these run as well as possible. Now, Trailer Park Farms, this is a work in progress still. This is not released. Now we just jump into the build mode here and I want to show you if you load in one of the base game buildings like so and press the M button you can see the sides change color which is a nice option to avoid you having lots of different versions in there. Now Trailer Park Farms has not implemented that. The reason being that uh, roof and sides change on a lot of the color combos in the shed and the Giants model, the new version for 22, 
means you can only change one thing. So you could only change the walls or you could only change the roof. So he's having to think about that, how he can implement that going forward. But at the moment, there are 14 different color variations in these sheds. Lots and lots of different options available to you, and uh, they are great. So I would suggest you keep a, a BDI on Trailer Park Farm's Facebook page in the next few weeks. I will leave a link to that in the description below. And also check out his uh, downloads page for some brilliant FS19 mods, and I'm pretty sure in the not-too-distant future some brilliant FS22 mods as well. Um, but there you go, Trailer Park Farm's brilliant 90 by 200 storage shed will be brilliant when we get nice big US maps. So there we go, it was just a, a quick peek really for you. I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.